Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see the topic comparing two digit numbers. This is one of the learning outcome in class 1 under the number concepts. Let us take a quick look at the learning outcome in class 1 under the number concepts. In the first video for class 1, we saw writing numbers from 1 to 100 in series with the number names. In the second video, we saw the topics under this particular learning outcome. They were writing the after numbers, before numbers, between numbers, missing numbers in a series and number line concepts. In the third video, where the learning outcome for class 1 was place value concepts. We saw in detail about the 1's place and 10's place in that video. And now, in this video, we are going to see the learning outcome comparing 2 digit numbers. Before going into the details of this video, it is very important to watch the videos related to numbers and number names and the activities related to this particular topic and also the place value concept videos because only if these things are very clear the children can go ahead with the topic of comparing two digit numbers. The link to these three videos and the link to the learning outcome in class 1 video where I have explained in detail about each of these learning outcome are all given below in the description box. And also at the end of this video I have provided a direct link to those videos. So stay with me till the end of the session. Let us go into the details of this video. So the first task is to identify the smallest number. To identify a smallest number among a set of numbers, there are certain rules that we need to follow. Let us look at them one by one. The first rule is, a one digit number is always smaller than a two digit number. Example, 3 is a one digit number and 1, 2, 12 is a two digit number. A one digit number is always smaller than a two digit number. This is the first rule that you have to remember. The second rule is in two digit numbers, the number with the smaller tens digit is smaller. Suppose there are two digits 4, 2, 42 in a number. The other number also has two digits 8, 6, 86. How do you identify the smallest number in these two? First, you will have to look at the tens place. So, if you look at the place value video in my channel for class 1, I would have very clearly explained you what is 1's place and 10's place. So, this is your 1's place and this is the 10's place. So, first you will have to look at the 10's place. In the 10's place, you have 8 for this number and in the 10's place, you have 4 for this number. Which is smaller? 4 is smaller than 8. So, with that you decide that this two digit number 42 is smaller than 86. So the second rule is to remember that you have to look at the tens place of the number and see whichever is smaller and that particular number becomes a smaller number. Next the third rule is in two digit numbers if the tens digit is the same compare the ones digit. The number with smaller ones digit is smaller. Okay, in this case we had two different values in the tens place. One was 4 and other was 8. So we decided that 4 is smaller than 8 and so 42 is smaller than 86. Suppose the two numbers have the tens place to be the same value. For example 61 and 69 are the two numbers given. Here in the tens place you have 6 here and also 6 in this number. In such cases, you will have to move on to the 1's place of that number. In the 1's place, you have 1 in 61 and in 69, in the 1's place, you have 9. So, which is smaller, 1 or 9? 1 is smaller than 9. So, with that, you decide 
that 61 is smaller than 69. So, it is very important to remember these three rules when you try to identify a smallest number among a series of numbers. Let us go into the exercise now. Find the smallest number. Here we are given with four numbers 3, 9, 7 and 1. All these are one digit numbers. Which is the smallest number here? Circle that. 1 is the smallest number. Next question is here we are given four different numbers. The numbers are 4, 1, 7, 17, 11 and 10. So we have both one digit number and three two digit numbers. Now we will have to remember the first rule which says that a one digit number is always smaller than a two digit number. So we just have one one digit number over here and with that we can decide that 4 is the smallest number in this series. Okay, let us move on to the next example. In this example, we are given with four different two-digit numbers. The numbers are 44, 23, 85 and 49. Now, all these are two-digit numbers. When you have two-digit numbers, first you will have to look at the tens place. This is the rule number two which we study. So look at, let us look at the tens place for each of these numbers. We have 4, 2, 8 and 4 in the tens place. Among these, which is the smallest number? 2 is the smallest number. So with that we can decide that 23 is the smallest number in this series. You can ask the children to draw a circle or put a box. Just to show the variety, I have done a box over here. Let us move on to the next question. Here again we are given with four two-digit numbers. The numbers are 6262, 6565, 6868 and 6161. Here in all the four numbers, we have six in the tens place. Now you should remember to apply the third rule. When the two digit numbers have the same digit or the same number in the tens place, we have to move on to compare the ones digit. Now in the ones place, we have 1, 8, 5 and 2. Among these, which is the smallest number? 1 is the smallest number. So with that, we can decide that 61 is the smallest number in this series. Let us move on to the next question. Here we are given with numbers 5151, 8282, 9797 and 7979. So first let us compare the tens place. Here we have different numbers in the tens place. They are 5, 8, 9 and 7. Which is the smallest number in this? 5 is the smallest number. So with that we can conclude that 51 is the smallest number in this series. For a change you could ask the children to put a tick against the smallest number. Hope you are clear with how to identify the smallest number in a series. Let us move on to the next topic of identifying the greatest number in a series. Here again we will have three set of rules similar to the identifying smallest number. And these rules will be like a reverse of the identifying smallest number rules. Let us take a look at them. They will be very simple. First, a two digit number is always greater than a one digit number. For example, we have the number 18 and we have the number 8. A two digit number 18 will always be greater than a single digit number. So 18 is greater than 8. 
Then second rule is, in two digit numbers, the number with greater tens digit is greater. For example, consider the two digit numbers 56 and 39. Let us look at the tens place. We have 5 in the tens place and 3 in the tens place in this number. So 5 is greater than 3. With that we can conclude 56 is greater than 39. The third rule is in two digit numbers if the tens digit is the same compare the ones digit. The number with greater ones digit is greater. Suppose you have two two digit numbers in which the tens place is the same. Here we have 77 and 73 where both the tens place is having the digit 7. So now you will have to move on to compare the ones place. In the ones place you have 7 in this number and 3 in this number. We know that 7 is greater than 3. With that we can conclude that 77 is greater than 73. Let us move on to the sums to identify the greatest number. Here we are given with 4 single digit numbers. 2, 8, 5 and 4. The greatest number in this series is 8. Next we are given with another 4 set of numbers. 6, 12, 1 and 17. Here we have 2 1 digit numbers and 2 2 digit numbers. We know that a 2 digit number is always greater than a 1 digit number. So we can ignore these two now. So we have to compare 12 and 17 now to decide which is the greatest number. First look at the tens place. In tens place we have 1 in both the numbers. So as per the third rule, if you have the same digit in the tens place, you will have to move on to compare the ones place. So in the ones place you have 7 and 2. We know that 7 is greater than 2. So 17 is the greatest number in this series. Let us move on to the next question. We have 34, 57, 88 and 46. First let us take a look at the tens place. We have 3, 5, 8 and 4. The greatest number among these 4 numbers are 8. Among 3, 5, 8 and 4, 8 is the greatest number. So with that we can conclude that 88 is the greatest number in this series. Next we have another set of 4 numbers 68, 63, 60 and 66. Here notice that we have the same number 6 in the tens place. Now applying the third rule, if the tens place is having the same digit, you have to compare the ones place. In ones place we have 8, 3, 0 and 6. Among these, 8 is the greatest number. With that we can conclude that 68 is the greatest number in this series. Let us do one more sum as a last sum in this series. We have 41, 78, 25 and 99. First compare the tens place. We have 4, 7, 2 and 9. We all know that 9 is the greatest number among these 4 which makes 99 to be the greatest number among these 4 numbers. With that we have completed the two topics smallest number and greatest number identification under the learning outcome comparing two digit numbers for class 1. The compare using symbols greater than, less than and equal to, writing the numbers from small to big and big to small numbers are covered in part 2 of the video. Link to all related videos are provided below in the description box. Dear viewers, if you like the content of my video, click the subscribe button and the bell button for regular updates. Give a thumbs up and share the video to someone whom it might be useful. And please do provide your valuable comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the second part of this session.